Some Grand Junction homeowners are ticked off over plans to annex 14 acres into the city for a housing development. Our reporter Christian Sita joining us live with uh, more details on this potential development. Neighbors not very happy about it, Christian. That's right, Bernie. The land is located at northwest corner of 31 Road and E and a Half Road. Homeowners don't want to see an apartment complex going up in their own backyard. They propose to put a 60 foot tall building on the 16 acres, which would take away the beauty of this area. Homeowners here are pushing back. 161 signed petitions by people that reside in this area that are not against development by any means as long as it maintains the integrity of this neighborhood. The pushback comes as the city of Grand Junction decides the future of this parcel of land by integrating it within the city. Got some notices in the mail back in August. Grand Junction Venture, based out of Phoenix, Arizona, wants the land in city limits for its housing project. But neighbors like A.C. Buckley and Amy Castro worry how dozens of tenants will impact the area. Traffic, for one. Um, Schools, I don't know if it'll impact the schools. Uh, water, safety issues, uh, fire department. You to take a look at Grand Mesa in the background. From this area where I'm standing and all along the front of 31 Road, that vista would be totally obliterated with a 60 foot building. Both Buckley and Castor say they aren't against development. They believe the city needs to take another route. Like it to be R4, like all the surrounding areas. In. The city said that this R12 is consistent with the neighborhood. So and building developed houses it into instead a of huge apartments. But this piece of paper says it fits all the criteria. In real life, and as far as uh, you know, the people and the concern of the people in the community have been totally ignored. Ignored. We reached out to the developers and city for their take. As soon as we hear back, we'll let you know. Christian Sita, 11 News. All right, thanks, Christian. And we'll update you tonight on air and online with what the council decides.